Today, we're gonna clean out one of the nastiest field find cars I've ever had in my entire life. So this is a 1961 Oldsmobile F85 station wagon. And it's been sitting in a field in Texas since 1986. From the outside, it looks fairly decent. It's actually really, really straight. And I'm pretty sure that's original paint. The problem is, once you get on the inside, you'll just see how nasty this wagon really is. You guys ready for it? Ew, those are poops. Lots of animals have been living in this thing. We're gonna start by cleaning underneath the hood. Well, before we do that, there's some interesting stuff. So, I think this is an all aluminum 218 Oldsmobile V8. Not sure, don't quote me on that. But this has some crazy options for the year. So, in 1961, not very many cars had factory air. And, you know, if you look at, you know, these parts like this, I'm pretty sure it was a factory system. It has controls on the dash for it, all that other kind of stuff. It doesn't look like it's any kind of aftermarket thing. Um, but then you get back to the normal GM parts, you know, distributor cap, carburetor, ignition box, horns, all this stuff. It's fairly typical GM stuff. This motor is probably trash. I wouldn't think it's... You could probably pull it apart and maybe see if it's rebuildable, but I don't think it... It won't turn by hand or anything like that, so... We're gonna vacuum up all the animal debris that is in here and get it looking a little bit better and then maybe, maybe, we'll try to put the hood on the car. We'll see. I think it's funny you have all these people that get so excited about barn finds and honestly if it was in a real barn with all the real rodents and animals that live in a barn, they're some of the nastiest cars that you can get. I mean, it's just, this thing was kept in a garage, not outside with the rodents. The wiring would be much better. The engine probably wouldn't be stuck. But it is what it is. So, found a couple random odds and ends. I don't know if they go with the car, but I'll throw them in a box and include it with it. Uh, the engine bay, yeah, it's gross, but you know, it is what it is. In order to get the hood on, we need to take care of these hinges. They've been out for a long time. So I sprayed them yesterday and I sprayed them again today. Looks like the bottom one is these two are moving. I don't know about these two. Here's the hood for the car. I should have looked at it before I messed around with all the hinges, but there's no real point in uh, getting the hinges to work to put the hood on for a couple reasons. One, the hood's uh, been buckled. You can see right here where it's come out and you know, kind of lift it up. It probably wasn't built that well to begin with. You know, one of the braces is coming off up here, but the stud's completely gone here, so you see that it's not going to matter what the hinges do. That hood, it needs a lot of repair for it to work, so it goes with the car, so what I'll do is I'll put the hinges in the down position and then just put the hood on it. Uh, the, the two stoppers at the front, or the pins at the front, they will uh, they'll hold the hood down. And I, I know it, it will unlatch, so we should be good. Instead of fighting with the hood hinges, I just decided to take them off. They have three bolts, came right off. The cool part is you can see the original color of this car. It actually probably wasn't a pink or a purple, it was probably a bright red. But I'll get the hood on, 
That way it can go with the car when it's, when it's sold. I'm kind of glad my camera decided not to record me struggling to get this hood on, but it is on and latched in the front. As you can see, it's kind of like a square body Chevy hood. They just weren't made well enough to actually uh, survive use. But the wagon looks better with it on. So now we can move on to the inside. But before that, I want to show you guys this. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's an old bumper sticker remains on here. It says six flags over Texas, which means this wagon at one point went to Six Flags. How cool is that? Who knows what it was, 60s, 70s, 80s? But it's been in Texas for a long time. It couldn't have been 90s because the last plate on it says 1986. So let's get in the back and see what we have. All right, guys. We're gonna interrupt this program to talk about license plates. So on Instagram is the only place I've shared this, but I decided to make a license plate wall on one side of my shop. So I got like 20, it's 25 feet of wall that I need license plates for. And I put it out on Instagram saying, if you send me a plate, uh, I'll send you a free Corvette Ben sticker. So I have a lot of Texas plates, but I need plates from other places. I've gotten a few. So Dalton from Minnesota sent me these cool plates. Darren from New Mexico. Maybe he's from Indiana, I don't know. Indiana plates. Jeremy sent me all of these plates. And then last but not least, Ben Jenkins sent me these plates, which this plate is super cool. An Illinois plate from 64. Got a Saskatchewan plate. I'm sorry if I missed your name. I got a whole pile of plates and a whole pile of, uh, of letters that I've got from you guys. So I will be sending you out stickers here soon, but I wanted to throw this in the middle of this video to tell you that if you want to send me a plate, I'll send you a sticker and you might see it in a future video at one point. It's about to get serious. I have my face mask on and all right that back window rolls down how cool is that so what i want to do at least is i want to pull the this old seat thing out i want to see what's in this little compartment underneath it and then maybe pull up the the back seat as of right now it's folded down but I just want to see what it looks like. Look how nasty that is. So let's get to pulling it out. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Uh, there's no way of telling what kind of seat this is for or from or anything like that. It got chewed up though. It sure weighs a ton. I don't think I'm going to pull it all the way out. I'm going to see if I can't leave it kind of sitting on the end because guess what? <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I really should just go in the dryer. It's weird though. It's a power seat. It has these little, look like speedometer cables that run all the stuff. Who knows what it's for? Well, that's cool. So I don't think that is for this car, <laughs> but it could have been cool. 
Oh. This is nasty. All right, you guys ready? Ready to see the nasty that is underneath here? If I can even get it open. Oh. Let's see. I might need my uh, pry bar. There's probably a whole lot of nothing under there other than rat poop. I doubt there's anything good in here. All right, we have a Goodyear tire. And that's absolutely it. <laughs> oh, gross. I think I'm gonna let the next guy clean that one out. But, I mean, there's one rust hole. That's not bad. It's been a lot of time outside, that's for sure. Let's see what that back seat looks like. Sadly, boys and girls, I don't think there's much, uh, There's much goodies in this one as there has been in other cars. I'm waiting for the really big dead body of an animal <laughs> to pop out at me. I mean, all I see is part of an armrest. Oh, I can't do that by myself. can't do it man Ooh. well I was right there's a whole lot of nothing in here the seat patterns pretty cool we can get a better view of the dash that AC unit's probably worth a bunch it even has ducks on either side of the dash but man the whatever animal lived in here he didn't leave anything for anybody oh <laughs> so as you see it'll need floors oh they always need floors so let's put that back down we can put that seat back in it well this car is going to need a a complete floor and a complete interior top to bottom but other than that it's super solid Crazily enough, I do have a title for this car. Clean and ready to go. Clock, gas gauge, lights, wipers, heater, AC, radio. It says F85 right on the dash. So, you know what? I'm running out of time for today to clean out the inside of this. I don't know if I'm going to, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Chopstick likes it. What do you think, Chopstick? Fix or pass? All right, guys, that's the end of it for today. That's just, just so gross inside, but somebody's gonna have to take it on as a project. It's not. It's not for me, but it's super cool and they're really hard to find. So if you're interested in it, I am selling it. So I'll leave my email down below. Shoot me an email, we can talk about price. So thanks for watching guys.